philosophy on life and your pursuit of consciousness, because I know that that's a journey that you're on, especially in not just your craft, but also personally, how has that influenced the way that you parent? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's, um, it's, he's a, he's a little mirror, you know? mm -hmm. he's a little mirror. It's, it's fascinating because I used to venture out on really deepening myself in like, going to the desert for a few days or mm -hmm. trying different medicines or fasting, different methodologies to like get me there. Mm -hmm. And he's born and I'm changing a diaper. I'm walking to throw the diaper away. And all of a sudden I have one of the most profound revelations, you know? So it's wild because the most mundane things and the most mundane interactions with my child trigger just as an impactful reaction that mm -hmm. any of these searches have. <laughs> not even given me, you know. Yeah. So it does, man. It does impact you profoundly. That's amazing. What What was the revelation in that moment exactly? Oh, oh. Well, that's just uh, like a general uh, thing. But uh, I think one of the first times that I was like, really tripping out on throwing a diaper was thinking, you know, like maybe what if my whole life I've driven it? The drive has been to for me. Mm. Me, me being here on earth because of me uh it's my soul journey but what if it's not even about that what if it's about passing that on mm. to him you know so for the first moment in my life i thought my life was maybe not for me you know what interesting if it's prepping me thinking me that it's for me but it's not i don't know how i feel about it any, any, any at this point mm -hmm. honestly but at that moment it was very i had never thought of my life that way right yeah it's like you had to think of the world and life itself outside of your own yes. subjective perspective, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Which, I, which I can imagine can be like both beautiful and disorienting at the same time. Totally. Like. totally. When, when he was born, uh, um, well, right before he was born, I was thinking, because we really wanted to have him. You know? mm -hmm. And I was thinking, is this a selfish or a selfless act? Mm. And I kept going back in that question. To myself, yes. Is this a selfless or selfish act? Because we wanted to have him so bad. Mm -hmm. But also it was, in a way, giving ourselves up for him. Right. But not until he was born, he was like, oh my God, what if my mm. life is not for me, but for the passing on of life? Mm. Yes. Yeah. And expanding that whole view of yourself.